Hello and welcome to step four of our creative process. Step four is taking the ideas that we came up with and uh, creating a uh, reference print to work from on making a painting. Um, now, as we mentioned, there's many options and ways to do this. Um, I like to use Photoshop because I'm used to using Photoshop and um, it's, it's real easy for me. But it may be easier for other people just to make sketches and then enhance those sketches um, to the point of um, being able to work from a sketch or taking some photographs and not even incorporating them in one photograph like I did, um, but rather keeping them separate images that you can then paint from that image when you're working on that part of the painting. And there's other processes for other materials like uh, sculpture and things like that. And uh, we won't get into that right now, but, but I paint, so I'm going to visit with you about painting primarily. The um, reference material for me, uh, I had a little trouble time-wise. So what I had to do is use myself as a model. Now when I use myself as a model, um, it works very well, but I don't want to do it too often or I, you, and I probably don't make the best model as well. So, <laughs> but, um, but it did work for this. So I just photographed myself with a self timer on my camera and I knew exactly what poses I needed and what expressions I needed. So it's kind of nice to use yourself in, in that regard. I think on future ones though, I'll, I'll try to use other people. Um, the uh, images I use along with myself, sometimes I'll use myself just as body type so that I'll have a body figure and then I'll put a different head on or that type of thing and um, or just use another person entirely. And I, I'll use, uh, because of copyright, I need to be uh, aware of that. And there are websites online that will let you um, have free use uh, of images. And so I do use those uh, quite a bit actually. So like the dove, for example, came from a stock image from a free use website and that type of thing. So um, it's so much easier to use those than to go out and try to photograph a dove, <laughs> as, you, as you might imagine. Um, okay, I've got three characters, three main characters in this painting. There's Jesus, Jesus who's bringing comfort to a person. We'll call that person number one. And that's me, I'm the model of person number one. Person number one then goes to the second scene and is um, comforting that uh, third person, the third model, in the same way that Christ comforted the first model. And that really is our text. It's real in a nutshell. It's God comforts us and in turn we comfort other people and that is portrayed in this painting. The um, Looking at Christ, I, I had a challenge of do I make him... Um, post-resurrection like, more white, uh, more angelic, more uh, glorified and divine? Or do I make him more human like when he was on earth with clothes that wouldn't be white but probably more burlap like, tannish, uh, with layers of um, a prayer shawl, Jewish prayer shawl, uh, toga, um, or not a toga, excuse me, the uh, tunic, and then the the piece of clothing over the tunic. Um, so um, those, and they're very rough looking, um, very uh, natural. Uh, so I decided to go with the divine look and, and did the white and the more angelic um, clothing of Christ. See, every, every one of these elements helps to the story. They add to the story that's a piece of the story. So instead of having a chapter in a book, I decide what does Christ look like? And it's kind of fun to, to have control over every element and have it help to tell your story. So in this story, I wanted the divine Christ, but yet I wanted the personal Christ that, that, that you could see and recognize. So the human face. The human face then keeping in mind, well, he came from the Middle East area, so he needs to look like a Middle East person. Um, he could be more black, he could be, actually there were even Scandinavians that were told to be in that area. So um, there's possibilities, but the greatest probability is he looked like a typical 
a Middle Eastern person. So that's exactly the way I had him look. But I want him to be um, delighted, delighted to be with you, delighted to bring you comfort, but yet not overbearing to the point where he's, uh, he's all happy when you're sad, but yet he's bringing peace and joy and renewing to you and his comfort. And so, so he does have some happiness, but not over. So I was looking for that image, and I found one, I think, that, that represents that. Um, for the person, the third person, the one that I'm, I'm consulting, uh, consoling rather, excuse me, um, she is just distraught. And I think I found a really good image of a distraught person. And what I did is I, I didn't like the body that was connected and I only had half a body on the image I used. So what I did is I found another person who had crossed legs on free use and I used her bottom part and then I put the head on uh, the, the distraught person who had that, that emotion I was looking for. And sometimes you need to cut and paste it to make it work, to give you exactly what you're thinking. And that's why it's so much easier, um, well, it's actually easy to use a, a site where I have free images. It just takes some, some hunting and some cutting and pasting and moving and maneuvering so it looks the right size and proportion and everything. But it is also nice to just have a model where you can just have them dress the way that you want them to look and then work with them and you can see everything that you're getting. And so both work, but in this case I was short on time so I, I went with the, the uh, free use stock images. Um, the person's face really tells a lot of story in the sad person. And also in, for myself, I did hands over head, um, as you can see, to, uh, to emphasize that, that um, I'm struggling, that this is, this is very difficult. So hopefully that, that comes through. Um, there's a couple elements that I threw in there as, as um, something interesting, something to discover. Um, she's, the model number three has a glass of wine in her hand and she's actually spilling the wine. Oftentimes in, in Christianity, wine represents communion or Christ's blood. And, um, and so it's, it's a sacrament. And a sacrament is two elements, the word and an element. So we have the word and wine, which come together in communion to create a sacrament. Likewise, the bread. And as you'll notice in, in this painting, um, over on the, on the bottom here, there's a pizza. And that pizza is the other element, the bread part of the communion. And it's not exactly bread, but there's a lot of bread in pizza. And I didn't want to, I didn't want to give it away by having a loaf of bread. Um, that, that would be, I think, a little too obvious. But I wanted pizza with, that is mainly bread to be in there, so to tie in that communion. Um, and so it's, it's something interesting. There's like a story within a story going on there. The flowers, I think, work well. The flowers, there's a, um, in my mind, I see them a little more abstract. And in the actual painting, they're not as abstract. They're, they're very, you know, it's, it's a photograph. That's one of the beauties of painting is I can uh, take and determine how much of uh, out of focus, how much out of abstract positioning and, and alternative colors. I can de determine all of that and in doing so, help tell the story. So I hope this was helpful for you and for um, what you put together as well. Uh, I'm really excited to see what you come up with. Okay, we've finished step four. I'm gonna send this off to the lab to be printed. It should be back within a couple days uh, to a week. And we'll start painting after that for step five. Um, after step five, we just do the reveal. So we hopefully you've painted something or put something together. And you don't have to do that again. Keep in mind, you can just watch me do, do my work. Um, but I think it'd be a lot of fun to see what you did and to see how you visioned um, a line in this chapter of 2 Corinthians, the first chapter. Thanks for watching. Uh, step five will be coming up and we'll paint together.